Viewers, welcome to our AI center. Today we are going to give you a demonstration of the Atomix system. The Atomix system consists of an extinguishing agent which can be mounted onto the ceiling. It can be controlled and uh, discharged by a solenoid which is connected to the head of the valve of the cylinder and controlled by a gas release panel which we call GRP. This system can operate in two methods. One is the manual system and the other is the automatic system. In the automatic system, we have detectors connected in two zones. Various type of detectors as per the requirements can be used. Detection in any one of the detectors in any one of the zones indicates an alarm on the panel and your strobe silent lights up. When both the zones are activated, by at least one detector being active on both the zones, then the GRP can go into a delay state and after the delay, it can discharge the extinguishing agent into the volume to be protected. The GRP can also operate in only manual mode where the automatic mode is disabled and you can activate the system only by the manual release. When both the modes are active, that is the automatic mode and the manual release, the system can be discharged by the use of the activation of zones or by the manual release. The system can also be aborted. That means the system's activation can be paused or interrupted by the pressing a abort switch. Once the abort switch is pressed, the system goes into a pause stage and it is essential to reset the system before it can be discharged again. Atomix has quite a lot of advantages. Atomix can be retrofitted into any volume. Say you have a site where you cannot do any kind of piping for the gas bank to the discharge nozzle. Then uh, Atomix system is most useful in this case where no piping requirements are there. It also saves you on any ground space which will be taken up by a gas pipe. So, for the purpose of this demonstration, what we have done is that we have taken a 2 cubic meter volume, an enclosed volume which is protected by a 2 kg atomic cylinder. We are going to place fire cuts within this enclosure and once the smoke rises, it will be detected by zone 1 or zone 2. When both the zone gets activated, the system will go into a delay timer of 10 seconds. Post the 10 second discharge timing, delay time getting over, the system will now discharge and extinguish the flame. So let's look at the demonstration. Uh, please put in the cuts. We'll place one cup in front, light, the flame is on, we'll keep a close watch on our detectors, a red LED lighting in any of these detectors will indicate an activation. Zone 2 has activated, so we have a pre-alarm. Zone 1 is also active now. Our discharge time has started. 5, 3, 2, 1, discharge. Flame has been extinguished. With your alarm switched off, the system is ready to be reset. The fire is extinguished and there is no reignition inside. This is a conventional gas release panel. The specialty, specialty of this panel is that it can record up to 500 events which can be monitored on the panel itself.
So thank you so much for joining us at AI Center. I hope you enjoyed the demonstration. Bye.